Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today's day number 195 after having gastric bypass surgery. So I went to my friend's funeral and it was a really interesting visit, not just because it was a funeral, but because of what happened there. It was a military funeral. It was the first one I had ever been to. It was really nice, really touching. It was beautiful. Thank you for those who provided a nice uh, service for my friend that passed away. But this is what happened. Now, I'm going to tell a little story, and the way I might word it, I don't know. It might sound bad, but I don't mean it. I don't intend it to be bad, but just bear with me here, okay? It's just something new I've never really experienced before, and I want to share it with you. So, as you guys know, I've lost over 90 pounds now, and I went to this funeral, and I saw a lot of people that I went to school with, and this was like 12, 13 years ago, something like that. And because I graduated in 2011, it's 2023 now. Yeah, 12 years ago. So this is how it was. So I was the one person in the whole group, a lot of us in the JROTC program. And I was that one person that was the fat one, the one that never wore makeup, the one that never went out and did anything fun, the one that never got to really do anything. Um, you know, the one that like... Never really had boyfriends, and didn't have guys interested in her because she was just overweight, didn't wear makeup, didn't fix her hair, nothing like that. Of course, it's a lot different now. Um, I fix my hair a lot. I put makeup on. Uh, I just have these on for right now. Um, you know, I still don't, I don't go to parties. I don't do things like that. I don't gamble. I don't do those kind of things. Um, you know, but I did get married and I have a child, so it's a little different now. And I've lost over 90 pounds. So I got there, and this is the part where it's going to sound like I'm being harsh, but I'm not. But just bear with me. I got there, and I'm thinking about, oh, I wonder what these guys are like now. I wonder if they moved on. They got married. They went to school. I wonder what they did. Because I knew I was going to see a few of them. And I did. And the thing is, most of them in high school were, like, athletic and took really good care of themselves. And they looked good, you know, when we were in school. And... You know, had people that had crushes on them, and you know, that kind of thing. I got there, and all of them except one were looking really rough. I'm talking really rough. Not trying to be mean, but I was shocked. Like, wow, what happened to you? But then I had to remind myself now, don't think that way. Because, you know, just because, you know, you went from you know, the fat friend to the 90 pound less friend and got married and graduated school, it doesn't make you any better than anybody, you know, and it's not like I was really thinking that, but it was like, okay, just before you head that way, slow your roll, you know, because you're no better than anybody. And that's a little message I want to give people just because you make a dramatic life change and things are so much better for you and your opportunities are opening up, doors are opening up, it does not mean that you can stomp all over people. Don't do that. Don't get the big head idea that you're just automatically better than everybody because of something like that. Don't do that. That's not cool. So I'm getting there and a lot of them were kind of looking at me like, is that who I think it is? You know, I kind of noticed that like in the corner of my eye, you know. Okay. So then they were kind of coming up to me one by one like, oh, hey, it is you. Or I didn't really recognize you. You know, it looks like you lost a lot of weight. And, of course, it's nice to hear that. Like, yeah, and I told him, yeah, I had surgery about six months ago. Lost a lot of weight. Um, my eating is a lot more in control. Things like that. And I started exercising, too. Things like that. But then I started to notice that it was becoming a little too much. And then I realized, okay, this is fake. Because there's nothing wrong with receiving a compliment. And there's, absolutely, there's nothing wrong with giving compliments. But when you do it too much it's fake and when you're someone that really was always like the last pick at school or work or wherever you're at you're the last pick you're the one person they don't want to team up with they're they're the one person that they don't want to go to prom with you're the one person they don't want to invite to social events you know when it's fake you you just automatically know and I thought to myself, okay, this is fake. It's starting to become a little toxic. Like, I need to excuse myself because obviously you guys haven't really changed. So, um, like I said, it's nice to give and receive compliments, but you need to know when it's not real anymore. Like, at first it was just, yeah, you look really good and I'm really glad for you. And then it was all of a sudden, oh, hey, can I have your phone number? Maybe we, maybe we can go hang out. We can go do something. And it's like, you never did that before. 
why would I do that now? It's like, if I was still really fat, like fatter than I am now, 90 more pounds, would you have still asked me that question? Probably not. You know, and then we were starting to talk and, you know, asking each other, like, so what have you done since high school? What have you done? Have you gone anywhere? Have you graduated? Did you get married? What have you done? And what's really sad is almost all of them had nothing to really say. I mean, it's better to say nothing than say bad things like, oh, I went to jail, I'm on parole, I have to go to court tomorrow, you know, but at the same time, I was kind of thinking, man, I'm the only one out here telling all these, like, positive things that I've done, and I was, like, the, the one on the bottom of the barrel all through school, middle school, elementary, high school, you know, and I thought, wow, it totally did a total just flip around. But then again, I had to remind myself, now just because of that does not make you any better than anybody. You know, and again, it's not like I was intentionally trying to think that, but you know, eventually it kind of crosses your mind. But I have to always remind myself, don't ever think you're better than somebody because what you have now can always be taken away from you just as quickly, if not faster. But I started to realize, yeah, I'm getting a little too many too many compliments and it doesn't even sound like it's real it sounds like you're just kind of blowing smoke up my rear end or whatever whatever you call it yeah this isn't real and you know and again they're just like hey yeah we should go hang out we should go do this we should go do that and catch up we should we should go here you know and then one of them was like yeah you know there's a get together going on at somebody's house next week and I'm like yeah no 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 you know, and uh, one of them that I was actually really cool with back in school, I had told her, like, look, if I was still 90 pounds overweight, I am almost certain I would not gotten invites or saying, hey, you want to go hang out? It really just amazes me how people are fake when you are the one that's shining, you're the one that's succeeding, you're the one that's getting everything that you deserve while they're just doing nothing, and then they want to just kind of... I don't know, I don't know how to word it, but I just knew it was fake, and it's like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna excuse myself and uh, go on with my day, but you take care now, you know, and it's not being rude, it's really not, it's just when you know that people are being toxic, and you know that they're full of crap, you don't have to stand by it, you don't have to accept it, you really don't, you know, because like I said, when you're someone that was always last pick, and you know, the one that nobody wanted to partner with, or go to prom with, or anything like that you just know when people are just full of crap you just know because you've experienced it so much I hate to say that but it's just something you go through when you're overweight or you're cast out for whatever reason but anyways I thought I would just kind of share that with you again it's nice to get a compliment or multiple compliments but don't let it go to your head don't don't become big-headed and think that you're just better than everybody now that's not cool you know, if that's how you end up thinking that you really have learned no lesson, that's just my opinion. You might agree, you might not agree, that's fine. Let me know in the comments what you think, you know. And if you know that someone's full of crap and they're just, you know, putting on a show for you and you know it's not real, you don't have to deal with it. Just, okay, okay, cut it off and then just go on with your day because you're better than that and you, you don't need that. Okay, you really don't. Find your own source of happiness. I'll see you guys later and have a good rest of the day. It is really storming out. Um, there's possible tornadoes coming tonight. So be safe if you're in my area. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.